Given the behaviour of um, Troy Buswell, at what point does an MP's private behaviour suggest he's not fit for office? Prue Goward, that's almost <coughs> tailor-made. <laughs> almost tailor-made for you. Well, I mean, it's a clear case of sexual harassment because um, it was done in public. We, so should, we should just remind our audience, Troy Buswell is the uh, Liberal leader in uh, mm. Western Australia. We call him um, in this program the snedger, uh, which is an archaic term for a bicycle seat sniffer. Um, this <laughs> this, this <laughs> extraordinarily... Can you believe uh, there is a word, word for that? that. <laughs> yes. I, I, I can believe it because there's a word for everything. Yeah. Must, have, must have been quite common once. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, it's very common as a you're not, fact. You're not speaking with any experience, are you, Tony? <laughs> as a cyclist myself, I've never heard of this oh, practice. No. <laughs> uh, uh, let's, let, we'll get, let's get serious about it for a minute. Because, uh, Prue, I mean, you, you famously said uh, when you entered state politics, I have never worked in any profession as male-dominated or as ruthlessly sexist as this. Now, what's going on in, uh, with Troy Buswell? It seems to have taken sexism into uncharted territory. Well, I mean, it was appalling behaviour and it's a clear case of sexual harassment because it was done in public and it was inevitably going to get back to her if indeed she didn't witness it. Uh, and it was behaviour that was obviously intended to intimidate. It was not meant to flatter. I mean, I presume he didn't mind the, the smell, but that is not the point. <laughs> Should he keep his job? That's the point. Uh, no, he shouldn't, because I think he sets an appalling example. Uh, but, but, okay, uh, now, before... But Tony, I'm going to come to you. I want to hear from the... Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to hear from the other women on the panel first, if I can. I'll start with Tanya. It was Pulisic. defiling well, for women, it, I think. I, I, Beyond, I, I, yes. I think it's... I agree that it's clearly sexual harassment. Uh, I think it shows an incredible lack of judgement. I can't believe his colleagues think that he's now going to go out and win votes for the party. I think... Uh, I mean, <coughs> you know, what, what target group is his appeal aimed at? Um, I, I think, look, the, uh, 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 it, poor judgment on his part, poor judgment to, uh, um, on their part for keeping him on. Miriam Lyons. Yeah, well, clearly the WA Liberals are kind of scraping the bottle of the barrel if they can't find anybody better than Troy to replace him. Scratch and um, sniff candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I, as, as, as a woman who's interested in politics um, but, you know, never joined a political party, I've got to say that something like that is a bit of a turn-off. I think you'd have to say so. Tony Abbott, have you come up with any way to defend the indefensible here? No, I can't. I can't defend it at all, and I, and I, and I shouldn't try. try mm. but, 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 look, <laughs> this, is, <coughs> this is tacky. It's tacky beyond belief. Um, Did you notice how the audience heard you say yeah. but? Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's very significant okay. but. Yeah. OK. Uh, Bill Clinton um, did something that was, I think, indefensible. Mm. Uh, an abuse of power, mm. probably in some respects far more invasive and degrading um, than what Buswell did. Mm. Um, and he stayed in office uh, and uh, was regarded as... Uh, a highly competent president. So, I'm just suggesting. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just yes, suggesting. It's, it's true. The, the, the audits are saying mm. this. It, it was consensual in that um, case. Yeah, that but, is but a can, fundamental but can, difference. But, can, is it but not? can. But can. But can the president of the United States making suggestions to an intern, uh, and the intern saying yes, is that? Can that truly That's be well, well, let's, 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 let's actually hear from that. We've got the gentleman with his hand up, up the back there. We'll, we'll take a question from the audience there. We'll take a comment from the audience. I, I was just wondering, I, heard, I don't know if it's true, but didn't this uh, apparently happen three years ago? And if it did, why has it taken three years to come out? Like, I, mean, I heard that. I'm not sure if it's correct. I read that in the paper mm -hmm. or somewhere, that this event happened three years ago, and I just find it strange that it takes three years for this event to come out now. OK, we'll take that as a comment. We'll, uh, can we get the uh, microphone down to the front here? And uh, first of all, the, the, the lady in the glasses in the middle um, had a comment earlier. No, I just said it was consensual when you were referring to Bill Clinton. Oh, right, so and you're, you're saying it's a completely a different case. Well, I think so, and she could, she, you know, you're saying about the Monica Lewinsky. She, she was a, a grown woman. She could have said no, yeah. even though she, he was the boss. No, Come there's on. an employer. OK, you we'll know. Know. one more, one more comment from the front here. There's a gentleman... Uh, <clears throat> in Tuesday's financial review, he also revealed uh, th that there are further, but f further past behaviours which could be revealed, um, and uh, perhaps those might put him out of office.